Okay, I'm going to try and make a video on how to install a Polaris PIDD display kit on a RMK Chaos. I just picked this up. Uh, has the standard display on it. Has a standard display, and I would like to adapt over to this nicer display. So the first thing you'll need to do this is the uh, part number 2880402. That's the display. And then you will need 2880493 for the mount. And this is a part of the mount kit and wiring harness. So first things first that we're going to want to do, pull your side panels off both sides. Take them off. Set them somewhere safe. They won't get stepped on. Next thing you want to do is come under here to your hood wiring harness. And unplug your hood wiring harness and remove your hood. Very simple, very easy. Your hood just lifts right off. And we're going to set this somewhere for safekeeping. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is flip your hood over onto a soft surface. I used my old cover for this thing. Um, then you're going to want to remove your plug from your key switch, your old display, and your light, which is right up here. Um, this key switch was pretty lippy to me when I tried to take it off. Um, I just pulled the nut off here, slid the key switch back, and I was able to get a better angle on it to get it apart. Everything else slips apart real nice. And you'd remove and place this for safekeeping, I guess. Then your display should just push right out. Nice and gentle. There, old display pushes right out. And on to the next step. Okay, excuse the dirty pants. I own a semi-truck repair shop here, so I got an excuse. Anyways, next thing you're going to want to do is take your new PID display, flip it over upside down on somewhere soft, that's why I'm using my pants, and this rubber grommet fits right over top. Okay, now this is where I kind of got to go off the rails here for a second. The instructions that Polaris uses um just have a strap that runs across here to hold your display into your hood but the mount that i got mounts your gps puck right here too so that'll be a little different um i'm gonna kind of be going at it as i go from here so your your gps mounting location may vary it's either going to be on the back of the display here or under your hood i believe on on this bolt here where your uh, bumper mounts is where it'll mount. If you have the old style kit, I believe is what that is. So just so you're aware. Okay, now that we have the rubber grommet pushed onto this display, we are simply, this is just uh, grease that they put on there. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it, I guess. But make sure you have your display orientated the right direction. And it should just push in like your old one pushed out. Nice and simple. There, installed. Okay, after you get that installed, you're gonna wanna take your wiring harness and plug it into the back of your display. Okay, now, after you have your gauge installed, your USB plug-in. One thing I don't like about this display that I have noticed so far is I don't like how sharp of a bend there is on the wire right here, but that is kind of, I don't know, one of them deals, that's the reason why you trade off your sled every year. Focus, you fuck. Thank you. Anyways, plug in both your wires into your key switch hood and into your display. And then for my application, I have this mount here. This is what I was talking about, about the different mount. And instead of mounting down on the main frame of the body, my mount gets mounted right here is where it goes. And then this orange plug plugs into the mount now uh if you notice i bought this kit second hand from a guy it's brand new never been used but he opened it and he lost the two screws so i went to menards and got two new screws they're m6 by i think 12 millimeter screws is what they are um so mine are going to look a little different than what you have but just just so you know. And then I decided 
The purple Loctite would be a better application for this, but I'm going to use a real, real light coating of this blue thread locker just because I don't want no problems with stuff coming undone under the hood, especially when you're 30, 40 miles out in the backcountry, you know. Last thing you need is something to fuck up here, so. But anyways, I'm going to do that. I'm going to install that GPS receiver real quick and plug it in and we'll get back to you. Now that we are all done getting all of our connections in, GPS mount installed, plugged in, you're going to want to route your wires with the hood to the, what would be the uh, right side of the vehicle or left side of the hood with your hood upside down. You're going to want to zip tie your, I zip tied my uh, USB and hood connection wire together. Just run your wire around, lots of room for it to loop up real nice out of the way. Um, after that, we are going to now install the hood back on the sled and uh, plug it in, put all your side panels on, and go from there. And now that we have the hood all installed, you're going to re reconnect your hood harness and double check to make sure that you can get access to this USB plug right there. I'm sorry. Right there. That's... My 1080p camera is doing its best. And now we are going to restart the snow wheel and verify the operation and everything. And away it goes, working good. Uh, I see this display does have a few miles on, it says it has 190 miles, but that's okay. Working away, that's good. 